pizza. It's more than just the food. In the United States, it's a way of life. And in New York City, they do it like no other place on earth. Hi, I'm Lewis, showrunner of the YouTube channel, Go Lewis Gusto. And today, we're gonna be taking you on a pizza by the slice tour of Manhattan. I kinda lost the accent midway through the intro, but regardless, finesse that like button and let's grab some pizza. Our first stop is at Scar's Pizza on the Lower East Side slash Chinatown. We got two slices. I'm gonna go for the cheese since Darissa really want the pepperoni. Here we go. And put some red pepper on this one. Spice it up a little bit, that's how we do. It's been about a week since we last filmed a pizza video, so we've been craving it for like the past six days because we just do it so much on the channel. At this point, do I even need to give pizza like this a review? Y'all already know it's gonna be phenomenal and that's why we're here. A plus ingredients, A plus preparation. It's got everything you want in a New York slice. This is actually my first time at Scars. It's been on my list for a while, but Narissa said, don't you dare go to Scars without me. So that's why we're here today. Hello, pepperoni pizza. I am hyped to have Scars pizza today. This slice is so huge. It's bigger than both of my hands put together. It looks like a pizza paper plane. <laughs> Coming in for landing. The notes of the pizza that I'm getting from this are pepperoni strong. More cheese, please. When Lewis put on the peppers, he may have put on a few more than I would have expected. I actually forgot he did that and I was like... So the last pizza tour that we filmed was Tavern Style Chicago and we didn't have a lot of pepperoni that day so I was really happy to get pepperoni first thing today. What I liked about Scars is as soon as I ordered those slices, they popped in the oven and they were out within like 30 seconds. Normally it takes a few minutes. I heard that they mill their own flour in the basement. So that's why I was like, this gotta be our first stop. We don't get to experience pizza by the slice in Chicago. Basically you have to drive from place to place. Whereas in Manhattan, you can just walk. So it's gonna be great. You eat a slice, you walk 10 minutes, you get another one and so on and so forth until you're pizzaed out, which I don't think we ever hit that limit. You could definitely do a lot worse than Scar's Pizza for your first stop on a Manhattan pizza tour. I don't think I'm gonna be giving out my Five Diamond Award today because I don't wanna be giving out willy-nilly, you know what I mean? So I gotta really think about these. It's also raining today in New York, so it's a perfect day for us to do a pizza tour. We did this a couple of years ago. We'll be hitting some of those same spots, some new spots, some old favorites. I don't even eat pizza unless I'm filming. That's why I gotta keep creating pizza videos, otherwise I don't get to indulge in my favorite food. Because it was raining and we were kinda like hustling down the sidewalk we ran into their old location which is all boarded up and we were for a second there we were confused like wait this car is closed because that's our first stop and you know everything has to go according to plan thankfully it it's their old location or maybe it's a renovated i don't know whatever it is we got the real deal here at 22 orchard street roddy would be proud what's amazing about new york style pizza by the slice is that it's a great experience right you don't have to just settle for one place. You get your slices, you eat them, enjoy them, whatever. You don't have to eat the crust. I personally don't, unless it's like really, really phenomenal. And then you walk like 10 minutes to the next spot. By the time you get there, that stomach is grumbling already like, feed me Seymour. It's a red pepper flake kind of thing. 
All right, stop number two today in Manhattan is at Monero's. We're back for the classic slice, and uh, we got a little break in the rain so that we could enjoy pizza outside. Again, without getting rained on. Cheers. Mm. The sauce and the cheese on this one are a little bit milder than at Scar's. Really crispy crust, and I'm feeling it right now because when we're sitting under an awning, as the wind and the rain picked up and we saw a bunch of people's umbrellas fly inside out and all we could dream about was our next pizza slice as we were waiting in the rain. So it's good to be united. Mm. What I like about this slice is that it has that blend of cheeses that's not just mozzarella. I think there's some Parmesan on here as well. I guess I should have asked. I wasn't doing my job and asking what kind of cheese. All I know is that it's a good slice. It has been almost two years since I had Prince Street Pizza because we've been too busy doing pizza tours of Queens and Brooklyn and Chicago. We might do Miami, Los Angeles, even Rome. So put it in the comments where you want us to take a pizza tour next. I got the spicy pepperoni. Oh yeah, I love this. Even though this is not the kind of pizza you typically imagine when you think about New York City pizza, this is very common. It kind of reminds me of like partially a deep dish pizza. You need some fangs to cut through this dough. <laughs> and last time we came here to film, actually this outdoor dining was completely full, so I had to go down the street and enjoy this pizza. So I definitely have to appreciate the fact that I could enjoy it right in front of the restaurant. Mm. Make sure you join our Patreon if you wanna see even more pizza tours all around the world. Since Lewis usually gives the five diamond award instead of me, I'm gonna give out a five emerald award. How's that? <laughs> a few years ago, I remember going to the Met and I walked into one of the galleries and from far, I saw a beautiful painting, but I couldn't quite make out what it was. So I moved closer. As I got closer to the painting, I still couldn't make out what it was, but I remember the feeling that it gave me. This spicy pepperoni slice from Prince Street Pizza gives me that exact feeling. So, cheers to that. According to some high schoolers, this is one of the worst slices in the city. I tend not to believe them. Anyway, our next stop is at Joe's Pizza on Carmine. Now, I've been to the Joe's on Fidei, or I've been to the Joe's in Fidei, not on Fidei. That's in my One World Observatory video, which you probably haven't seen, because it flops so hard, but it's a good one. So y'all better go watch it. Anyway, we got the plain cheese slice because it's a rainy day, it's windy, and we want no nonsense today. So we got the cheese. Please, got any cheese? Look, I'm not so much into writing food reviews. My life aspiration isn't to put out a book of food in my favorite spots. I just want to make good movies and entertain y'all. Maybe teach you a little bit here and there about the cities and about the cool food that you can try and see for yourself. We are New York's newest YouTubers now that we're putting out content in the Big Apple. The channel has grown like never before and we are super grateful for that. So what's up, New York? 
almost two years ago in this very location. I started my first ever Manhattan pizza tour. Matter of fact, my first pizza tour of New York City ever. Since then, I've gone on to do Queens, Brooklyn. But since this is the sequel to our original Manhattan pizza tour, I thought it would be only fitting to come back to Bleecker Street Pizza. Now, last time I did order an entire pie, the Nona Maria, won't be doing that this time because we've been eating slices all day. And even though it's windy and rainy, we're still pressing forward because I grew up in South Florida. This is nothing to me. I, there were literal hurricanes during my birthday parties. Once again, we are at Bleecker Street Pizza to try their famous Nona Maria slice. We did come here for our top 10 NYC foods challenge and we got their plain cheese slice, which was good, but definitely love this Nona Maria. And last time I did get the whole pie. This time, we've been eating all day, so let's just have the one slice. Cheers. So crispy. Um, that sauce is really, really incredible. I, I definitely have been missing this slice. I have yet to try this Nona Maria slice, and it looks so tomato-y. Shredded mozzarella, big dollops of sauce, fresh mozzarella, and basil. Gosh. We've seen a lot of umbrellas turned inside out today, too. I bet this actually could hold up against the wind. Well, that was our last slice of pizza in Manhattan for today. I know, I know. Don't smile because it's over. Cry because it happened. Or actually reverse that. Make sure you subscribe because we'll be doing more pizza tours here in the Big Apple, the Windy City, and any other city around the world that has a cool nickname like that. Peace.